from toleratedcinematics.com and today we'll be talking about how to work with essential graphics inside of Adobe After Effects and how to export these essential graphics to Premiere Pro and how they work in Premiere Pro. So really basic stuff but this is a new update from After Effects and Premiere Pro 2017 Spring Edition. Really cool update, a game changer when it comes to templates and let's see how it works. So here we are in Adobe After Effects and I just imported a really cool intro template that uh, you can actually buy on our website for After Effects effects but now you can actually change everything up and export it for Premiere so that people that only have Premiere or they only know how to use Premiere uh, can also modify this template okay so let's take a look right here we have a main comp with a few uh, compositions here that each have a different title and we want to be able to change everything within one window and this is something really cool if we are in a main comp we can go to window essential graphics and if we're going to open it up that will open up an entire new tab right here here. Right here we only have one option for the moment and that's to change the master. So we want to select a composition that we actually want to modify. So I'll select right here my main comp like so and now we're going to be able to change everything up but as you can see right here we don't have any effects applied to our composition so this composition includes absolutely nothing that is actually uh, useful for uh, this template. We actually can also rename this so I'm going to rename this to sci-fi trailer title or titles and click away and now if I will open up one of my compositions so you'll need to do this for each composition individually that's something a little bit um, well yeah it's going to take a little bit of time uh, but if we open up this composition we can actually go into a composition and also use this for essential graphics so everything that is in one composition all the compositions within that compositions uh, within that composition are also able to be modified with the essential graphics tab um, all in one place so that's really cool if you have a bunch of comps you can also drag in all the details or the settings in the essential graphics so you can change all the settings uh, for all the compositions in only one window so that's really cool. Again, in this composition, we don't really have anything interesting going on. So we'll open up the title sequence and let's see what we have here. So we have some glow going on. Um, so I don't really think that we need to change anything in the glow settings. Uh, for the other one, also some glow. Okay, so nothing interesting. And for the transitions, again, the same thing. Uh, we'll open up the color transition here. And okay, so this is something that I want to be able to change and that's the color uh, for the glow. Okay, so what I will do is drag in my color um, and actually currently we can do this. We can only drag things that we see in here. So currently the essential graphics doesn't allow you to do all the effects and all the settings uh, only supported properties and uh, what you can do is click on that layer and just solo supported properties and that's going to show everything that we can actually modify. So right here I want to be able to change my color, so I'll drag in my color. I can also rename this to something different like color text transition and there we can change it. Okay, so that's our first parameter that we just entered. Let's open up the transition. Can we change anything in here? Of course, uh, we have our card wipe. Uh, let's see if we can modify anything in here. Maybe uh, the rows and the columns, maybe you want to be able to change that so you can actually drag this in here. Uh, which is also really cool actually that you can do that um, within Premiere and maybe for the second title as well and again you can really uh, toggle everything on and off and you can rename everything so that's uh, something completely up to you you can also change the edit range and that's also something really cool uh, maybe up to 100 and then you will have this a little bit uh, well it's going to be easier to be modified so maybe you want to change this to well it's going to be 10 at the moment but max is like 50 you could click OK and that's going to be a little bit better as well uh, maybe for this one as well, maybe max 50. And you can actually really uh, modify a lot of cool things and this actually becomes like a plugin for your own template. So that's really, really cool. Apart from that, I don't really think that I need to uh, modify anything else. Let's jump into our title. So double click on the title and we have to edit this and this. So uh, we'll actually drag this in here. Um, actually, uh, we have to solo the properties and we have to drag in the source text here. And same goes for this one. Okay, uh, let's see if we change this. Is everything going to change with it? Yeah, it does. Alright, so that's pretty cool. 
All right, that's basically it. Let's go to the main comp and let's see what else is in this composition that we want to be able to change. And let's see if we change the color here. Is it also changing in there? Alright, so that's basically it. Okay, so this composition doesn't really require too many um, details in here, but you can really build it up until you're done, until until you have all the different kind of settings. You can really go very advanced in this, so this is something really cool as well. Even if you have plugins, like uh, let's say I create a new solid here, and I would go to Effects, Video Copilot, Optical Flares, and I have an Optical Flare in here. I will change my transparency to screen, and there we go, uh, we have our Optical Flare in here if we're going to click on solo supported properties you can actually see that we can change the brightness uh, we can change the color for the flare and let's do that like right here we'll drag it in we'll change it to a red color you're going to see that we can actually change our plugins and this is actually something really really cool I'm not sure if you can change it in Premiere if you don't have After Effects installed and you don't have the plugin I'm not sure about that I wouldn't know how that would work but still it's really cool that you have the option to do so so I'm going to delete my optical flare and I do think that we are done here it will also to delete the property if you delete something so that's uh, also interesting and let's say that we're done we are entirely uh through the entire project so I went through each composition individually so that's something that you'll have to do on your own um, but now we, we are ready to export it to Premiere so we can modify everything in there we can click on the export motion graphics template and actually if you're going to do that you'll have to save it first so I'm going to save it somewhere first and let's export it right now okay so now you can browse where you want to export it to so I'm going to browse and going to export I'm going to export it on my desktop as well and click OK and then I will jump into Premiere and here we have the exact same window again window essential graphics right here and we can actually browse uh, right here by clicking on this icon and if we're going to click on this icon we can actually uh, go to my desktop and see right here the sci-fi trailer title I'm going to open that up and you should see it in your browser so this is the browser for the essential graphics if we drag down we'll see that we have it right here I will create a new sequence by clicking on this icon click OK now I can actually drag in the sci-fi trailer title right here I can change my sequence settings according to the settings of my composition here and if we're going to zoom in here let's see we have our trailer title and if we're going to click on that composition we can change the color all the rest as well we can uh, drag with these values as well and change the text so subscribe Alright, so that's how the essential graphics work inside of Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and if it was, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. And then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.